Let's take a look at how you can evaluate changes in circuit behavior due to temperature. I have a diode model. This is the 1N4148. And the diode current is controlled by this constant current source. I'm interested in looking at how the diode voltage changes as a function of temperature. Well, now to make it easy to find that diode current a little bit later on, I'm going to establish a measurement probe. And let's only display the voltage and set its precision to four digits. Just see what we have so far. Looks like I need a little bit more visibility for the units. All right, just under 7 tenths of a volt, that's about what we'd expect for a realistic diode. Now I'll set up a temperature sweep where I will then sweep the temperature of the entire circuit from, say, uh, let's go with freezing or 0 degrees C up to the boiling point of water, 100 degrees C. Let's do this in 1 degree steps and it automatically calculates the number of points as 101. We'll be sweeping a DC operating point and displaying the results on a graph. You could also do it in a table. Now here's where the probe came in handy. This is the voltage across the diode. And you're essentially running a whole bunch of DC operating point tests running from 0 to 100 degrees C. Let's take a look at the total range here using the cursors. As we went from freezing to boiling, we went from 0 0.71 volts down to 0 0.539. That was 1. millivolts per degree C, and that's pretty typical for a real diode.